Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we have something special down here at Birdland this evening. Wait till I tell my old doctor at St. Allegis, Philip Chandler, he was convinced I had a neuroblastoma. Thank God he's not practicing medicine anymore. Bye-bye. Bye. Sid, Philip Chandler was Denzel Washington's character on St. Elsewhere. Are you sure? Honey, there's nothing about Denzel that gets past me. Take deep breaths. Let's get her on O2 and hook up EKG. Oh, waste of time, Izzy. He? I went to the ER. Do you remember the name of your doctor? Dr. Green. Sincere, bald glasses. That's Anthony Edwards' character on ER. Izzy, I know these things. By 11 o'clock, I was feeling OK, so I went home and watched the news. ER's on from 10 to 11. And her EKG reading is normal. Mrs. Nielsen, can I be perfectly frank? Oh, you can be whoever you want. <laughs> I can't find anything wrong with you. Oh, try looking between her ears. All part of our heritage. After all, my forefather, Captain York, was generous enough to feed all those poor Indians he found at Plymouth Rock. Oh, they must have been hungry, too, after waiting 10,000 years for the pilgrims to show up with the food. <sighs> Thank God you're here. I caught this fool ripping us all. No, no, Izzy, let him go. This is Dr. Minkus. He's on the board. What's he doing messing around in a drug locker? Uh, that's a good question. I came in early to check the inventory. Who is this lunatic? Oh, I got you crazy. Hey, there's been a misunderstanding. Izzy is our nurse practitioner. What was her first choice? The WWF? I could have hurt you. You think? Oh. Some of these charts are barely legible. I find that black ink and block letters work best. Thanks for the tip, Chief. I'm a giver. Izzy. Do you get a set of vitals and a temp on Mr. Stone in two, please? Gladly. No, we're definitely going to do this again real soon. Okay. Uh, hey, excuse me. Can I have a check, please? Thanks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is embarrassing. I left my wallet at home. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. It can happen to anybody. I'll take care of it. All right. Well, thank you. I'm so sorry. But as soon as we get back to my house, I will pay you back in full. Really, Malcolm? I'm an independent woman. I can handle a check. All right. Well, thank you. Thank and you. thanks for being so cool about this. <laughs> Line. Oh, Jess, I'll be right with you, Malcolm. <laughs> All right, put your jewelry in your wallets in this bag and move it. Caroline, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, taking care of the check, dear. Claudine, quick, come in. I don't want fresh air to sneak in. Well, I didn't know you smoked. Smoke? I do more than smoke. I'm addicted to this stuff. I go through about 20 of these a day. <laughs> Malcolm, I had no idea. You know, it's better you found out now. And I understand if you walk out that door and you never want to see me again, no hard feelings. Have a nice life. No, 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 no. I mean, I had no idea we had this much in common. <laughs> Take a puff of this baby. Natural leaf hand roll Cahiba. My dog groomer smuggles him in from Canada. Take. Be right back. Oh, I can't do this. I want to go to the now, come on, Kira. Remember, we discussed this, and this way is best, okay? That's easy for you to say. If it weren't for your dwarf ovaries, you'd be the one shriveling up in a kiddie pool while well, I had a touching reconciliation with my brother. <laughs> Linda, can we take her to the hospital, please? No. Now? Come on, Kira. Come on. I've got to be strong enough for the both of us. You ain't got no phone.